Hello students, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel that is Akifa's Commerce Classes. So in today's session, we will study about accounting equations problem number 4. Okay? So before this, I have solved 3 problems. So this problem is quite different from the ones I have solved previously. Okay? So let us begin. The first transaction is started business with cash 10,000. So this 10,000 will be recorded on both sides, asset as well as capital. The next is rent paid in advance rupees 300. Okay? Now as we can see it is mentioned in advance. Okay? Just because it is in advance it means it is prepaid rent. It will only be deducted from cash and not capital. Why? Because it is no longer an expense. Okay? Only expenses are recorded on the capital side. So, here we can see that rent paid in advance 300. Okay? So, what we will do is 10,000 minus 300. Okay? First entry would be 10,000 minus 300. It means our cash is 9,700. We have to then write plus 300. Why plus 300? Because this is the prepaid rent. Prepaid rent is an asset. Okay? So, firstly what we will do is we will deduct 300 from 10,000 which will come to 9,700 and plus 300. Plus 300 is for the prepaid rent. Okay? The capital will remain unchanged. Moving on to the fourth transaction. It says purchase goods for cash 5,000 and on credit rupees 2,000. Okay? So, here I have given a simple explanation to this. See, we have good purchased for cash 5,000 and credit 2,000. So, first of all, the total amount of stock that we have is 5 plus 2 that is 7000, okay? irrespective of whether it was purchased on credit or cash. So, stock will be 7000. Secondly, we will have a credit of rupees 2000. Why? Because we purchased on credit 2000. And the cash account, the cash account will be reduced to 5000. Why? Because we purchased goods for cash 5000. It means we paid for the goods, we paid rupees 5000. So, our cash balance will reduce. So, as we can see that here we had 9700 as cash. So, we minus 5000 from it. Why? Because we paid uh, for the goods. So, this cash then becomes 4700. Then stock becomes 7000. Why? 5 plus 2000 and plus this rent. Okay? So, here the liability side we will have to write 2000 as creditor because we have purchased on credit and the capital side will remain unchanged it will remain the same that is 10000 so moving on to the four transaction sold goods for cash rupees 8000 costing rupees 4000 so now here what happened is we sold goods at rupees 8000 okay and their value was rupees 4000 it means we made a profit of rupees 4000 right because the total value of it was 4000 and we sold it for rupees 8000. So, this will be recorded at 3 sides. Okay? So, first of all sold goods for cash 8000 costing rupees 4000. So, how much amount of cash you have received? You have received 8000. So, 4700 from your plus 8000 we get it as 12700 plus 300. Okay? Now, you see the goods. Sold goods for cash 8000 costing 4000. So, the cost was 4000. So, we will deduct only 4000 and not 8000. Okay? This is the amount we got after selling this. So, this is the amount that we are going to deduct from stock. So, 7000 minus 4000 will come to 3000. The creditor will remain unchanged and a profit of 4000 has to be added to this. Why? Because we sold goods worth rupees 4000 at rupees 8000 and hence got a profit of 4000. So, this becomes 14000. Okay, so let's start with our fifth transaction that is paid salary rupees 450 and salary outstanding rupees 100. Okay, so here we have to understand that salary paid is something that we have already paid, and outstanding salary means that the salary that we have to pay but we have not yet paid. Okay, so this will have the effect at three places. Firstly, we have to see that paid salary is 450. Okay? So, we have to deduct it from our cash balance. So, our cash balance is 12,700 and we have to deduct 450 from it. Okay? Then next, what we have to do is salary outstanding is 100. Okay? So, it is a liability to us. Okay? So, what we have to do is we have to add 100 to the liability side. Why? Because it is outstanding. Okay? And then moving on to the capital side, 
Here we have to deduct 550. How did we get 550? Salary paid in cash 450 plus the salary that is outstanding that is rupees 100. Okay. So in capital we will deduct both the things the salary that we already paid and the salary that we are yet to pay. So 450 plus 100 that is 550. Okay. So our capital was first 14,000. So from 14,000 we have to deduct 550 which will be 13450. Okay. So always remember that whenever it is any expense paid or any expense outstanding both the amounts have to be deducted from the capital side okay so students let's move on to the sixth transaction that is bought motorcycle for personal use rupees 3000 so we know that whenever any amount or whenever any good is withdrawn from the company for the purpose of personal use it is known as drawings okay so whenever it is drawings we have to remember that it will be recorded on two sides one it will be reduced from the cash balance because a certain sum of amount of money has been deducted or has been withdrawn and the second effect will be on capital because as drawing is an expense that particular amount will be deducted from the capital balance okay so as we can see that first we had cash as 12,250 so from 12,250 we have to deduct 3,000 okay then we will get cash as 9,250 then this will not have any effect on the liability side moving on to the capital side we had capital of 13,450 okay from this we need to deduct rupees 3000 for drawings and the balance that remains is 10,450 so when we see that asset side is 12,550 and liabilities plus capital that is 2100 plus 10,450 will be equal to 12,550 okay so hence our asset side is equal to the liability plus capital okay so this is how we are supposed to solve the accounting equations now in total i have said that i will be solving five problems okay so this is the fourth problem and every problem that i am solving it has at least one new thing or a new transaction okay which is different from the previous ones so if there are any queries or questions then please put it down in the comment section also if there are any suggestions and feedbacks please let me know so that i can improve my, myself with the upcoming videos Okay, so if you liked my video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.